Meanwhile, here in the U.S., a local Iranian-American is watching the standoff between where she was born and where she lives now. She says these times are stressful, and she's worried about both countries. Kayla Green talked to her earlier, joins us now. Kayla. Adam, yes, she tells me these are difficult times, a constant balance of emotions. She says she's proud of both her American citizenship and her Iranian roots. That American people would Shaheen be Munshipur happy. moved to America in 1978, escaping Iran right before the fall of the Shah. She attended RIT and was a professor locally for more than 30 years. Munshipur came to the U.S. for democracy, Our freedom, and diversity. And she says she people. still sees that America, but as tensions grow between the U.S. and Iran, she worries about some of the rhetoric that's out there. Yeah. I earned my American citizenship, I feel. So for somebody to tell me I'm un-American because I also have a love and familiarity with the country I was born and raised in, it's not right. And I hear it all the time. Two of her concerns, the president's threat to impose more sanctions on Iran and go after its cultural sites. For 30 years, three decades of punishment, destroying the whole country, and now saying, okay, now that you don't have much left, we're going to impose another round of sanctions to make you devastated, and then we're going to go even after your cultural heritage. I think it's too, too high a price, honestly, for anybody to pay. Monjipur says, unfortunately, the Iranian government tries to portray Americans as Iranian haters. For this reason and others, she doesn't think military force is the solution either. It unifies the people around the wrong leaders. Iranians have a lot of grudges about their government. They like to do it their own way, improve it if they have to, change it, negotiate with it, inch by inch, make progress. And they are capable of doing it. They need help, yes, but it's not coming from the right place. Manchipur says with the U.S. being the model for the rest of the world, there must be a better way to handle this. She says the best solution, in her opinion, go back to the agreement President Obama put in place with Iran when he lifted sanctions. Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, thank you. Of no, President Trump has since walked back some of those comments about going after Iranian cultural sites. We'll continue to monitor this particular situation.